Bowel cancer is very common. It occurs in about 1 in 15 to 1 in 20 people. And it's important to remember that a genetic predisposition is only present in about 10% of cases. There are a number of genetic conditions in which a change in a gene can result in an increased risk of bowel cancer. And this is more likely if the diagnosis of colorectal cancer is made under the age of 50 or if there is a strong family history of bowel cancers or other cancers. And these cancers should be on the same side of the family and diagnosed at a youngish age, so under the age of about 60. There are a number of di different conditions, but one of the most common is a condition called familial adenomatous polyposis. This is a condition that causes a lot of bowel polyps, which if left alone will turn into a bowel cancer. Patients with FAP will require their bowel to be removed in order to prevent bowel cancer. The other condition which is much more common is a condition called Lynch syndrome or hereditary non-polyposis colorectal cancer. There are far fewer bowel polyps in this condition, but there is an increased risk of a number of other cancers as well as bowel cancer. If you think you have a family history of bowel cancer, you should see your general practitioner in the first instance and ask for a referral to the local family history clinic for a risk assessment or to the genetic services. It would be really helpful if you could take as much information about the family as you can to that appointment, in particular the ages at which people were diagnosed with cancer and the types of cancer they've had. If you have any death certificates available, that would also be really helpful. A risk assessment will then be done and, if appropriate, um, testing for particular inherited conditions will be undertaken.